good day friends in this lecture we are going to see the operation of a single phase half rich inverter a inverter is a device which converts input dc voltage into a output ac voltage input is direct current and output is a bidirectional current a single phase inverter's output will contain only one bidirectional waveform whereas a three phase inverter's output will be three waveforms each displaced by 120 degrees in this lecture we are going to see the operation of single phase half bridge inverter this consists of a three wire dc supply which means that there is a neutral point and there are two sources as shown here each having a value of vs by 2 half the value of the total voltage and there are two thyristors t1 and t2 d1 and d2 are the uh, diodes used for the protection of the thyristors now let us see the operation of the single phase half bridge inverter here when t1 is turned on by giving the gate pulse and T2 is kept off, the current flow in the circuit will be because of the upper source shown here that is from plus through the thyristor T1 through the load back to the source. Now when T1 is switched off that is commutated and T2 is given the gate pulse, T2 will be on. When T2 is on, the current flow in the circuit is from the lower source that is from plus load T2 back to the source. If you carefully observe these two circuits, the current in the load is from right side to the left side when the thyristor T1 is on and when the thyristor T2 is on, the current flow is from the left side to the right side. That is, it is alternating. So, if you see here, when the thyristor T1 is given the gating pulse, there is going to be an output in the load in one direction. And when thyristor T1 is switched off and T2 is given the gating pulse, the current flow in the circuit is from uh, other direction. So, by alternatively switching on T1 and T2, we can get a bidirectional output voltage in the load. The value of the output voltage is having a magnitude of Vs by 2 and the frequency is 1 by T. If the frequency of the AC signal is to be changed, the time T can be changed. In the case of a single phase half bridge inverter, the serious drawback is that it requires a 3 wire DC supply. This can be eliminated in a full bridge inverter where instead of 2 thyristors, 4 thyristors will be used. Hope this explains the operation of a single phase half bridge inverter. Thank you.